before I even did anything other than write down the general idea, um, before I outlined, I went and did something called, oh my gosh, research. So I went back and looked through all my handy dandy fairy tale books that I have, Hans Christian Andersen uh, and some others. And I sort of tabbed through, oh, this one you can see, lots of tabs, the ones that I would like to try to integrate in some way uh, throughout the series. And once I had that, I sort of narrowed down uh, which ones I thought would work the best in the story with the idea that I had. And then I went and did my outline. Um, once I had my outline down, then I started to do what I like to call uh, visualization activities where I go and look for images that I think will be helpful for me to write the story. Um, not all writers are visual. I am a visual person, so I like to have a lot of images around me when I'm writing. It helps keep the settings in check and the characters in check. Uh, and to that point, uh, one of the things I've done for this series is made uh, what I jokingly refer to as my serial killer board. Um, and the reason I have done this for this particular series is because I have five main characters, all of whom are 18 year old girls. And as we know, not all 18 year old girls look or sound the same. And so I thought it would be helpful for this series if I uh, had really a solid idea of who these girls are so that when I'm writing them, you know, I keep this next to me, I glance and I, you know, remind myself that, oh, you know, that is what Lark looks like. Uh, and that helps me decide on mannerisms as well and uh, style of dialogue and things like that. Another thing I do uh, in looking for images is for settings. And so I found some gorgeous stuff on Instagram, of course, and some really nice creepy looking forests and uh, some beautiful, well, this one's not so beautiful, but some really interesting places that I can use for settings for certain characters. Of course, some castle views, which are lovely. Uh, and quite useful. Um, and another place I go um, are fashion books. So this, <laughs> this is a fashion book from uh, 1700s in the US and I think there's some France uh, fashions in here as well. And I find that useful for describing clothing and getting an idea for the types of clothes I want them to wear in a ball scene versus, you know, when they're traveling minstrels. Um, and so different books like this help me visualize and describe those types of scenes. Uh, the other thing that I did for this particular series is, you know, what you always need in a high fantasy style series uh, is a map. Now, of course, this is my very, very rough because I am not, a, not an artist, um, rough map. And I'm going to have someone do a lovelier version to include in the books. Uh, so I'm very excited about that because I've never had a map in a book and I love maps. Um, so that is basically how I am prepping for the Legacy Girls and I hope this was helpful to you and thanks for watching.